Hi everyone, welcome back to Sahab Academy. Today in the sixth video of batch costing chapter, we are going to solve this practical question number five from the ICI study material. And of our series also, this is the fifth problem. And the main thing about this question is here we have to calculate the economic batch quantity and there is extra cost calculation that we have to do in this question by comparing the two policies. The first policy is the batch size of EBQ, the most optimum batch size. And then the second one is the uh, the question which is suggesting. Okay. And then there is something else also here. We have to give our own opinion regarding the batch size. And then, you know, they have also asked over here the interval between the two consecutive runs, which basically means what is the gap between the two batches? Okay. So we'll see that. Don't worry. Let's just read the question first and let's see what do we have over here. Okay. Let's begin. Now see here. XYZ Limited has obtained an order to supply 48,000 bearings per year from a concern. So 48,000 bearings is our annual demand. You all know that. On a steady basis, it is estimated that it costs 0.20 as inventory holding cost per bearing per month. You see this over here. They have given you the inventory holding cost per month figure. Okay, we want per annum figure. So we'll just simply multiply by 12. Okay, 0.20 rupees into 12. That's equal to 2.4 rupees. Okay, this is the inventory cost. Yeah, inventory holding cost per unit per year. Fine. And the setup cost per run of bearing manufacture is rupees 384. Okay, that's fine. Setup cost, we can directly use that in formula. There is no problem in that. Now let's see the requirements. See here, you are required to compute the optimum run size and number of runs for bearing manufacture. What does that mean? Optimum run size means you have to calculate the most economic batch quantity. Okay, what is the optimum quantity that we have to produce in a single batch? Is that clear? And we call that as EBQ. And then they have also asked number of runs. Number of times you will be running the machinery or you can say number of times you will be setting up the production process. Yeah, number of setups we can say or num we can say number of batches in total. Is that clear? So let's calculate this, uh, you know, both of these things. Let's do this first requirement. See, here, it's really simple. First, we have to use the EBQ formula to calculate the optimum batch size. Yeah, you all know the formula square root of two into annual demand into setup cost of each batch divided by carrying cost per unit per year. That's the formula. Okay. We have all the values, isn't it? Annual demand 48,000. Yeah, setup cost 384. And then carrying cost per unit per year, we just found out 0 0.20 into 12. That was 2.4, isn't it? So just input the values and then do the calculation. Okay. See here 2 into 48,000 into 384. That's equal to something. Divide by 2.4. That's equal to something. Just take a root of that. That's equal to 3,919 point some decimals, right? So what you have to do, you have to round it off. Okay, 3,920. Is it clear? Yes. So see, the EBQ would be 3,920 units. Okay, this is the most economic batch size. Yeah, if you produce this batch size, yeah, in your batches, you know what will happen? Your inventory holding cost, yeah, total, as well as your total setup cost will be the most minimum yeah it will be the most optimized and they both of them will be equal right so this is the most economic batch quantity or you can say most economic batch size is it clear simple after this they have asked you number of runs yeah you can say number of batches or number of setups okay how will you calculate that it's really simple understand in each batch you are producing this much yeah in each batch you are producing these much units but in entire year, how much you have to produce? You have to produce 48,000 bearings. Yes. So just divide 48,000 bearings into these units, 3,920. Okay. Just divide by that 3,920. So that's equal to 12.24. Yes. But we'll have, you know, the complete batch. We can't have decimals. So it will be 13 batches. Okay. We will round it off. See here, number of batches formula is what? Annual demand divided by the batch size. Okay, annual demand divided by the batch size, economic batch quantity. Right, so 48,000 divided by 3,920, that's equal to 12.245, just we saw. Yeah, 
but we have to round it off and it will be 13 batches. Is it clear? Annual demand is 48,000, but in each batch we are producing 3,920. So this entire annual demand will be completed by having 13 batches. Is that clear? Simple. Now let's move on to this next requirement because we are done with the first requirement. It was very simple and straightforward. See here, compute the interval between two consecutive runs. Now what does that mean? It's really simple. Understand, interval between two consecutive runs means, see here, we will be having 13 batches in the entire year to produce 48,000 pairings, right? So here they are asking us what will be the time interval between the two continuous batches, yeah? For example, you have, you know, started your first batch production on 1st of January, okay? You produced 3,920 units, fine, on 1st of January. Now, when will be the second batch that's what they are asking, okay? What will be the interval between the two consecutive runs, two consecutive batches? It's really simple, it's really simple. All you have to do is see here, in the entire year, there are how many days? 365 days, yeah? They have said, assume 365 days in a year. All right, 365 days, divide by 13 batches you'll be having in total in the entire year. So you have to divide 365 uh, by 13, you will get how many days there will be between the batches and that is 28 days yeah it's very really simple and straightforward okay interval between two batches in days it will come 365 days divided by 30 that's equal to 28 days okay so if you are uh, you know starting and completing the first batch on 1st of january then on 28th january you will be having the next batch that's the meaning of this question okay this uh, second one compute the interval between two consecutive runs is that clear simple and straightforward now moving on to the third requirement which is the most important that is see here find out the extra cost to be incurred if company adopts a policy to manufacture 8000 bearings per run as compared to optimum run size now understand here they are asking we know that ebq is the most optimum quantity yeah here only the cost will be at lowest. The total cost set up plus uh, holding cost will be lowest. Okay, this is the most economic quantity. We know that. But if company adopts a different policy, 8,000 bearings per run, the batch size would be 8,000. If it is 8,000, then what would be the extra cost, extra loss that the company will have to bear? That's their question. Is it clear? So we have to show them the calculation by comparing these two policies the first one is the ebq okay 3920 units batch size and the second one would be batch size of 8000 bearings is it clear simple and straightforward so let's see how this will be happening okay you already know this we have done a similar problem in previous videos yeah so see we'll do this in a tabular form it's really simple calculation of extra cost okay we are comparing two policies the first one is the ebq policy and the second one is the 8000 units policy of batch size okay so first understand what you have to do is you have to calculate the total cost of this policy and this policy and then see the difference okay so what is total cost over here in this batch costing chapter total cost is what total setup cost plus total carrying cost okay how will you calculate total setup cost really simple sir we will see how many setups we need in this uh, policy yeah how many setups we need into its setup cost isn't it if you multiply these two we'll get the total setup cost and then how will you calculate total carrying cost again really simple we'll take the average inventory we'll take the average inventory into what into carrying cost per unit per year we'll get the total carrying cost isn't it simple and straightforward that's what we have to do okay let's start with the ebq policy first see here total setup cost is equal to how many batches or how many setups are there in this ebq policy just now we calculated see here it is how many batches 12.245 or 13 batches okay you can take either of this it will be right okay in the exam also you don't have to worry okay if you go with 13 batches then also your answer will be right if you go with this 12.245 also your answer will be right okay of course the answers will be different but there is a provision in the exam they will accept both the answers is that clear yeah you don't have to worry about that okay yes so now here in the study mat isa has taken 
12.245 that's why i have taken over 12.245 okay so 12.245 into 384 okay 384 is the setup cost okay it's setup cost 384 so see 12.245 into 384 that's equal to 4702 fine so this is the total setup cost if we go with the batch size of 3920 units fine now let's calculate the total carrying cost see here the total carrying cost 3920 okay this is the order size sorry batch size divide by 2 average inventory we always take yeah whenever we calculate carrying cost what do we do we always take average inventory okay because that's what we will be holding on average so average inventory into the carrying cost per unit per year 0 0.20 into 12 that was 2.4 so see 3920 divided by 2 1960 into 2.4 that's equal to 4704 clear easy so now the total cost if we go with this batch size would be how much 4702 plus 4704 that's equal to 9406 rupees okay see here whenever we go with the economic batch quantity what happens the total setup cost is equal to total carrying cost yeah 4702 is equal to is it equal it's not equal over here because of the rounding of differences but if there are no decimals and all it will always be equal is it clear okay see here only two rupees difference is coming but don't worry huh? if you go with 13 uh, then something uh, you know there will be a big difference it will not be uh, two rupees difference and all but still your answer will be right you don't worry about that okay because you know it's allowed fine now moving on then let's come to this policy here the batch size is how much 8000 units yeah they gave that in the question 8000 bearings so here everything will change now what will change the number of setups the number of runs will change the number of batches yeah in the entire year we need 48000 bearings this is the annual demand and in each batch if we are producing 8000 units then of course the number of setups will change the number of runs or you can say the number of uh, batches will change yeah so how will we calculate that number of setups you all know see how will you how do you calculate number of batches annual demand divided by not ebq actually here it was ebq it's actually what batch size batch size so see here the batch size is 8000 units divided by 8000 so that's equal to six batches or you can say six setups fine so six into 384 okay six into 384 that's equal to 2304 rupees okay is it clear yes that's the total setup cost of this policy and then total carrying cost yeah same way 8000 units divided by two that's the average inventory into the carrying cost per unit per year okay 8000 divided by 2 into 2.4 yeah this will not change because carrying cost will be same only carrying cost will not change and setup cost also didn't change it's just that number of setup changed over here okay number of setups is it clear yes so that's equal to 9600 okay 9600 fine so if we add these two 9600 plus 2304 that's equal to 11904 yes so you see this policy's cost is greater than this policy yeah ebq policy is lower why is that because the ebq policy is the best policy isn't it yes so how much extra cost do we have to incur if we go with 800 units policy what will happen 11904 minus 9406 yeah this thing if we subtract these two then we are getting the difference is of 2498 rupees yeah so you have to write now a comment down below over here see here <clears throat> 2498 rupees is the extra cost incurred if company adopts a policy to manufacture 8000 bearings per batch as compared to ebq instead of ebq is that clear okay fine so this is the third requirement okay we are done with the third requirement simple and straightforward yep yes then now we have to move on to our fourth requirement see here give your opinion regarding run size of uh, bearing manufacture now this is just theory okay you just have to uh, tell about the ebq and all see here and just comment about the run size see to save cost the company should run at optimum batch size 
here that is 3920 units as it saves 2498 rupees isn't it if the company goes with this batch size the ebq then they will be saving this much rupees instead of going with uh, 8000 and losing 2498 rupees clear yes run size should match okay the batch size should match with the ebq economic batch quantity of bearing manufacturer when managers of a manufacturing operation makes decisions for each production run they must consider the cost related to setting up the production process and cost of holding inventory yes directly the managers they cannot uh, just say you know we will be going with the batch size of 10000 units 6000 units like that no they have to consider the the setup cost and the holding cost properly the total right so if we do the ebq calculation then only we come to a conclusion that it is a point where the total setup cost and the total carrying cost is minimum and equal okay it's the most optimum point it's most optimum batch size is that clear so that's what they have to consider both the costs fine so that's the opinion we have to give that's all okay so this was the solution of this uh, practical question number five from the ICS study material it was really simple and straightforward if you have any doubt in this please comment down below or you can message me on instagram and i will try to answer your doubt as soon as possible okay so that's it that's all for this video see you in the next video bye